uh, the next section, section two. Section two. It is our last of the Do You Give a Bleeps. Yes. Do, I intended to film this yesterday, but we've been busy prepping this room for Freeform Fridays. So uh, what we're doing is we're changing Do You Give a Bleep. This was originally generated to get like news, news style content driven, right? And Don has discovered that he doesn't actually give a bleep about anything other than himself. I give bleeps. I give lots of bleeps. Uh, you give bleeps when you get guilted into it. I give strong bleeps. I give a lot of bleep about <laughs> Dapple. I'll look at, go look at all the Dapple stories. It's just celebrities. I don't know. I don't give a bleep. We'll find out. But so next, starting next week, so everybody should subscribe. So starting yes. next week, um, we're gonna do. Carissa explains it all. My father calls her Clarissa. They, my my whole, my whole family on that side. They they have a hard time with it. Yes. And uh, it's not my fault. My parents were hippies. Yeah, and in and when I was a kid, Melissa Joan Hart was on a kids television show called Clarissa Explains It All. And you have no originality. Somebody else actually fed this to me. I'm Yeah, I'm just going with it. <laughs> you come up with a better idea for section two that's going to generate search traffic. So we're going we're gonna to explain scientific concepts. Yes. Right? Yes, so if there's a scientific or cooking, concept. Or whatever. Yes, so if there's a concept you want explained, let us know in the comments. She's, uh, she's about to become a high school science teacher. Kind of strange how you go on record. I uh, Though you don't do anything embarrassing on these videos. No. I just mock you. Yeah, you do mock me. Yeah. And sometimes I deserve the mocking. You're wearing a yellow hat and a disco hoodie, dude. Come on. <laughs> hey, hashtag disco hoodie. Let's get this everybody... This is what I have to put up with. Let's get everybody to tweet hashtag disco hoodie. And I'll pick one of those tweets... Or leave a comment, hashtag Disco Hoodie. And I'll uh, tweet it, leave a comment, or post it on Facebook. And I will look them up. And uh, next week we'll give away a sticker to to a random, uh, a random one of those random people. I'll get in touch. Uh, where really? did I put my stickers? I brought stickers down. I don't know. There's stickers. What'd you, what'd you do with them? I left them on the table on purpose. Did I put stuff on them? No, nah, I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Things, they come, they go. It's just stuff. So what's our first do you give a bleep? Uh, okay, our first. Do you give a bleep? Dr. Vera Rubin died this week. Who is Dr. Vera Rubin? Dr. Vera Rubin was an American astronomer who pioneered work on galaxy rotation rates. She uncovered the discrepancy between the predicted angular motion of galaxies and the observed motion by studying galactic rotation curves. So let me get this straight. So to put this into terms that I will understand. She 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 helped us understand how galaxies rotate. Right. When angular momentum is based on mass. Okay. So when you look at the observable mass of a galaxy, you expect a certain curve. What they were finding was that the rotation didn't drop off at the end of the visible mass. It dropped off much further. But we're looking at things that are literally intergalactic at this point, right? Yeah. Okay. So what, so this- I don't give a bleep. <laughs> no, I don't give a bleep. I have she a- discovered dark matter, dude. <laughs> Has anybody, can somebody leave me a comment and prove and, and actually like, can we actually test for dark matter at this point, or is it only theoretical? It, I think the th CERN this collider is, was this, doing it. This basically is the test for dark matter. We can't see it, you know, it doesn't really interact with regular matter, but it's something out there that we can't see has mass. Otherwise, the, the angular momentum curves would have dropped off where we expected them to. What if it's all just a glitch in the programming? There's a high probability we live in a, in a, in a... We don't live in the Matrix, dear. We totally live in a Matrix. Are you kidding? Hal Sparks told us we live in a Matrix. <gasps> Blew my mind. 
well then somebody really needs to reboot yeah because 2016 kind of was... a weird year yeah we'll go with that yeah we'll talk about that in our reflections <laughs> that'll be in our next section so that'll come out on tuesday okay so subscribe so, so you don't give a bleep i don't I give, give a bleep i you give, give a bleep. bleep i give a bleep because this was cool and she did some ama absolutely amazing work and she was decades ahead of anybody else in astronomy in terms of this type of thing and her, her study of it and her theorizing on it so okay yeah i mean i give a bleep I, d I give a bleep but i don't give a bleep you don't give a you bleep. know like you pretend to give a bleep but what, you really don't give a what bleep. i really want is i want i just want to be able to go to the next star can we do that can we work on getting to the next star there's one star let's get one like we don't have to spend a lot of time looking at the at, at the way the the other galaxy spins because it's just it's such an unattainable length like let's work on things that we can attain the length how does that apply towards getting us off this planet when the when the sun goes nova well the sun's not going to go nova for another five billion years we only got five billion years and by the time the sun goes nova the Milky Way galaxy will have collided with the Andromeda galaxy. All right, so what happens when global warming makes this planet uninhabitable and now we got to go, now we have to leave? Don't we're, you we're think We're not going to leave because we're, we're just all going to die because we're morons. <coughs> we're not morons. She, we are morons. She, she wasn't she, a moron. She was not a moron. Individuals are not morons. People as a whole are morons. Yeah. <laughs> got to have hope. That's the... All right. I give a bleep, but I wish I wish we'd spend more time studying ways to get off this planet. Yeah, well, like an actual you, exit strategy. You gotta have faith, and that leads us to our next oh. story. <laughs> Sorry, you brought it up. <laughs> I had to go there. That's okay, and at least now this will only be one video. <laughs> but don't do that for the next one. Let's break up the next one. Ah, uh, George Michael died. You George know, Michael died. Yes. Not a fan. I'm sorry. Like, fully, fully aware of it, right? Really? Wham comes on the radio and you don't sing along at the top of your lungs? No, I don't like Wham. Sorry. It's taste, right? It's just a thing. Like, not everybody likes my music. And I don't like everybody's music. But uh, what I, I do give a bleep because he was extremely charitable. Yes. Yes, he was. And there's this concept of conspicuous consumption, right? Mm -hmm. And being extremely charitable is the really the only appropriate way to conspicuously consume. I should have put that on mute. You really should have. So, <laughs> so George Michael, I, I do you know much about George Michael? How did he grow up? Did he grow up? Wealthy, because the music industry, especially the big music industry like that, is very nepotistic. Not, it's very oligarchy. Not really. I actually, I've got a book upstairs on how Wham got started, written by like their former manager. Okay. So. So I'll tell let us you the story. It. I haven't read it yet. What's that word? There's a word, and you guys leave a comment. That word when you buy books and you never read them. It's like Kobaku. It's a, I think it came out of J Japan. It's a Japanese word. Like, we all experience this. We all have books. Yes. So let's figure out the story, and you give a bleep. I give a bleep. What's yeah. next? What's next? <laughs>